welcome to APCM the emergency medicine uh, channel uh, in our series of uh, videos on ventilators uh, today we will be discussing about basic modes of uh, ventilation what are the basic modes uh, of ventilation available and how to uh, select the basic modes so basically uh, like uh, in uh, like every ventilator there will be like some uh, modes some uh, traditional modes some uh, newer uh, intelligent modes and some biphasic modes these are like a broad classification of the basic modes so the traditional modes there will be like a certain modes of ventilation that uh, in which the entire breaths will be uh, provided by the ventilator that is uh, it will be like ventilator uh, triggered mechanical breaths will be there so such modes is used in patients who are like uh, completely completely ventilator dependent or uh, the patient is completely like passive so uh, such type of uh, modes of ventilation uh, is used in the initial ventilatory settings where the patient is like uh, uh, sedated paralyzed and is completely ventilator dependent so the basic uh, modes uh, uh, in such a scenario is the controlled mechanical uh, control mandatory ventilation or the cmv modes uh, and it is also known as the uh, assist control uh, modes also so here the entire breaths will be provided by the uh, ventilator and uh, the patient effort is not a criteria here so uh, it is used in a completely paralyzed and sedated uh, patient so uh, if the patient is intubated for like a uh, lung pathology uh, and we want to give a complete lung rest we can sedate and paralyze the patient and put the patient on a uh, like cmv mode that is the uh, like uh, entire breaths will be provided by the uh, ventilator so uh, that uh, the cmv mode again it can be like a volume control mode or like a pressure control mode so if it's like a volume control uh, mode here uh, the volume will be setting a target volume and uh, to get the target volume a pressure will be like provided by the ventilator uh, and in a pressure control mode we will be targeting like a pressure and the uh, pressure will be provided to get uh, like a certain volume so uh, the issue is uh, if we are like uh, going for a volume control ventilation uh, to get the target volume the ventilator will be providing like more pressure so uh, if we are not keeping a, a like constant watch to attain a target volume more and more pressure may have to be given and sometimes th this may end up in uh, like a uh, uh, barotrauma but if in a uh, other setup where uh, like it is a pressure control ventilation uh, Uh, depending like on the pressure provided the uh, tidal volume will be achieved and uh, if the patient's condition is like improving so uh, for the given pressure more and more tidal volume uh, will be uh, reached and if we are not keeping a constant watch this will lead to further uh, wall trauma so uh, in a basic uh, thing is that uh, if a patient is completely sedated paralyzed we can go for a cmv mode it can be like either a volume control or a pressure control mode and uh, there is no like a uh, fixed dictum that uh, we have to go for uh, such like uh, either a volume control or pressure control mode in a certain setting it is like uh, in a completely par paralyzed and sedated patient we can go for like either of this and uh, th uh, this is the uh, in a complete uh, ventilator dependent patient next is like the uh, simv modes that is uh, synchronized intermittent uh, mandatory ventilation here there will be like uh, like uh, the ventilator will be providing breaths and uh, in between that there will be some uh, patient triggered breaths also that is if the patient uh, is uh, not triggering breaths there will be like adequate ventilator uh, triggered breaths uh, also so it can be like used as a weaning mode that is when you are directly like uh, uh, initially starting on like ventilation you are like a sedated paralyzed patient started on ventilation don't go for a smv mode uh, but you have you, uh, you can go for like a cmv mode then you can wean the patient and if the patient is like in a weaning mode you can go for a smv mode where there will be both the ventilator triggered and patient triggered breaths and uh, next comes the spontaneous modes here all the breaths will be like patient uh, triggered that is uh, patient will be taking the breaths and this is the like last part of the weaning process so here like uh, the breaths will be like uh, triggered by the patient and ventilator will just help to uh, overcome the uh, resistance due to the et tube and all those things so in such a uh, uh, ventilation it is basically a pressure support ventilation so the ventilator will be providing a pressure support to overcome these resistance and 
and uh, in such a setting if the patient is not having any uh, abnormality like uh, a tachypnea or the patient is maintaining adequate uh, oxygenation uh, and adequate ventilation we can go for a extubation it is like uh, the last part of a weaning that is the spontaneous mode so these are the uh, common traditional modes of ventilation then there comes another uh, group of uh, modes that are the intel intelligent ventilation modes that is basically uh, the modes like the ASV, uh, in, uh, intel events and all that. In this, uh, the patient's uh, lung mechanics will be uh, uh, analyzed by the ventilator uh, and based on that, the ven uh, ventilator will be uh, going for the basic settings. And it is also uh, based on a criteria like the uh, percentage minute uh, ventilation. So here, like uh, we will be setting a minute ventilation, percentage minute ventilation uh, and uh, uh, for our need. Like suppose if we are uh, ventilating a COPD patient, we will be uh, targeting more minute ventilation for a PCO2 washout. So such that we will be setting a percentage minute ventilation and the other tidal volume and the, uh, the pressures, the rate, everything will be uh, analyzed by the uh, ventilator. And, uh, it will be like uh, according to the ventilator decision. Then there comes the next uh, group of uh, ventilator modes known as the biphasic modes. Uh, so that is seen in uh, some ventilators, uh, some modes like APRV and all where uh, a high peep uh, and a low peep both settings are there. So it is like the peep will be like provided in a uh, bi level in two levels and it is basically uh, uh, used in conditions like ARDS ventilation and all uh, to prevent lung trauma. So, these are the basic ventilator modes like uh, there are traditional modes uh, that is the CMV modes, the SIMV modes and spontaneous modes. Then there are uh, intelligent ventilation modes. Then there are the bi-level modes. So, these are the basic ventilator modes. So, uh, like in this uh, ventilator, we have the uh, CMV mode. So, where uh, we will be like uh, targeting a, a certain uh, like a tidal volume and uh, based on that uh, our ventilation uh, like other parameters also have to be set. Then we have the SIMV modes where uh, there will be like the rate, tidal volume, everything we will have to set and then uh, the patient will trigger certain uh, like some breaths and if it is not happening then the uh, ventilator trigger breaths will be there. So, that is mostly in a uh, like passive patient uh, like not passive like uh, active patient uh, started on weaning and uh, then there comes the like uh, spontaneous modes that is the uh, pressure support uh, ventilation where we will have to uh, keep a uh, pressure support and uh, based on the like pressure support given we'll have to uh, look for how much like uh, tidal volume the patient is achieving whether there is any desaturation tachypnea or anything and if the patient is uh, stable in that we can go for a extubation so basically samv and pressure support are weaning modes and for the initial ventilation what we require is the cmv modes so uh, cmv modes again in the volume control and pressure control there is no uh, definite deadline as you have to go for uh, like volume control in one and uh, pressure control in another situation uh, according to the patient uh, condition the clinical and condition the abg uh, the lung uh, like lung pathology we'll have to uh, select it so these are like the basic modes of uh, ventilation thank you